Welcome. So in this lesson, I will present you some of the questions that usually the interviewer will start with. These are very light and technical questions and normally the interviewer will check the basic knowledge of a DBA candidate. Since we have only covered the section one so far, so the questions will only be related to these sections. I know these questions will be very easy, but trust me, they will get more advanced as we progress throughout the course. So here you go. The very first question. What is the default port on which MySQL runs? Believe it or not, I myself asked this question in one of the interview when I was conducting an interview for hiring a DBA and candidate did not know the answer to this. So by default, MySQL runs on port 3306. And I even asked when he did not answer, I even asked what is the current latest version of MySQL right now? He did not know the answer to that one. So sometimes a candidate look for the most advanced questions they can find over the net and they skip the basic ones. But these are the one they should be knowing by heart to start with because this will be their first impression. All right, let's go to the next one. How do you check the open ports on a Linux system? Let's say you know that MySQL is running on port 3306 and the interviewer may ask you, okay, so you know that the port is 3306, but how would you check on a Linux system? Okay, the answer is netstat. Netstat is actually a utility, utility that is part of a net tools package. So in order to use Netstat by default on a Linux system, Netstat is not installed. So in order to install this, you have to install net tools package and then this utility, this command will come as part of that package. All right, question number three. How do you get the process identifier of a running MySQL daemon? So for example, somebody come to you and uh, let's say even you are not in an interview, they will ask you, hey, do you know that MySQL is running? You say, yes, MySQL is running. They say, can you check the process identifier, the PID of that MySQL? Because we are seeing some slowness. Some of the PIDs, they are really chewing up the CPU. So how would you quickly check right away? What will be your answer? You will say PID off. PID off is a command on a, on a Linux system. You can check the PID off any daemon that is running on a Linux process. In this case, we are only checking the PID of MySQL. So you can do MySQL D. You could have done PID of MongoD, you know, PID of Postgres D. Okay, you got the point. So PID off is very, very important, very easy, but very quickly you can check the process identifier of any process. On a Linux system, how do you list all the MySQL related files opened by MySQL user? So as you know that MySQL is owned by MySQL user. So whenever you install MySQL server, any addition, community, Percona, MariaDB, that will be owned by MySQL user, MySQL user and MySQL group. All those data dot and every file belong to MySQL will be owned by MySQL user. But how would you know? Let's say you are new to a company and you don't know where is the log file for the MySQL, okay? How would you check that the MySQL has opened that log file to write? Or where are those data directory files there? So what command would you use? You will use list of, L-S-O-F. And LSOF by default will list all the open files on a Linux system, but you want to be specific to a one user. So you will provide this flag minus U MySQL. And please make sure that this command will be run as a root because it will be going to the directory, looping through the directories that like wardlib MySQL, the ordinary user will not have access to. So you want to do either sudo LSOF or you want to do sudo minus i become a root and run this command LSOF. How do you secure a newly installed MySQL server? 
So in the in the interview, they will say that, okay, so you come on board and we ask you to install a new MySQL server, any distribution, okay? What will be your first step? How you will make sure that your MySQL installation is secure? What would you do? Your answer should be that you will run MySQL secure installation task. This is a, a command that will be installed as part of the MySQL installation and you run this as a root. This will configure your MySQL and configure your security settings of your MySQL server. On a Red Hat base, enterprise Linux based system as as the the reason I mentioned this rail based system is because most of the MySQL server installation that you will find in the production environment they will be based on CentOS Red Hat Enterprise Linux or Amazon Linux 2023 L2 very few on uh, Solaris or Debian based system uh, there are few on Ubuntu, but uh, most probably you will see the system running either CentOS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux or Oracle Enterprise Linux. So on a rail based system, how would you check the version of install MySQL packages? So let's say you are new to the system, you do not know. The one thing you do, you just run MySQL and that is your client program that will give you the version of MySQL client. They are asking that the version of a MySQL packages, what is the distribution version that you have installed? How would you check that? On a rail based system, you will check RPM minus QA, query all the packages that have been installed on this system, but you only want to grab with the MySQL and minus I is case insensitive. So this will give you all the packages related to the MySQL, either it is a it is a client, is a server, is a share, it is a compact, it is a dev library. This will along with that, they will give you the exact version that has been installed on the system. So I hope that, that you already knew the answer to these simple basic questions that every MySQL DBA should know. But as we move along to the section two and beyond, we will slowly, slowly increase the difficulty level of these questions. So thanks for watching this lesson. And I hope that you will continue to see other questions, interview questions as we progress through the section. And for that, I will see you in the next lesson.